This October has been called the make it or break it month for the path toward the nomination, which means the success of a good campaign ad and how voters react to it more critical than ever right now. And joining us with the highlights we've seen recently, Frank Luntz, pollster and CEO of Luntz Global and the author of What Americans Really Want. Really. Frank, good to see you. So what they, what they really want is more, apparently, of ads like this one from Dr. Carson. Let's show the audience what you did with your dials and your focus group. Watch. People are so concerned about the future, the future for their children, the future for our nation. Well, the big message is that this country was designed around we the people, of, for, and by the people. And that uh, we need a government that actually understands that and doesn't think that it is the ruler of the people. Uh, learning from crowds that they are hungry for some integrity, for some honesty, and for some real solutions to the problems that ail us. Not so much interested in partisan bickering and wisecracks and denigration of other people. And uh, that's perfect because that's exactly where I fit. Even the Democrats love that one, Frank. Why? Yes, and that's the point, because he talks about integrity in government. It is the number one attribute, integrity, that the American people are looking for from their next president of the United States. And by the way, one of the, the key differences here is that it is Ben Carson himself speaking, not some unseen announcer, not someone else talking about him, and that's the reason why it makes it effective. We feel that we understand exactly what Ben Carson wants to do, and the American people like it. All right, now, we're, I'm about to show a Chris Christie ad that you, that you say they like, too. But let me ask you before we watch this, does it matter? I mean, Chris Christie's polling very low. So do these ads really cha translate into votes? We don't know now. The ads clearly, Chris Christie is not many people's first choice. What we've seen in our polling is he's a lot of people's second or third choice. And so the ad can have, a, can have an impact right. on pushing those people over the line. Let's watch what happened. The Democratic legislature, the Americans for Tax Reform, just said that Chris Christie has vetoed more tax increases than any governor in American history. We cut 800 programs out of the state budget to bring the state budget into balance without raising taxes. Nearly 200,000 new private sector jobs because we cut taxes, made government smaller. You need to be willing to stand up to Congress and tell them what you won't do, so then you can drag them to doing what the American people want them to do. Very powerful. Incredibly powerful. And the reason why, he takes on Congress, which is the most unpopular institution in America today, and he does so with the issue that Republicans care about, which is taxes, as well as being willing to veto any tax increase. That's what the Republicans, that's what the American people are saying to Congress, stand up and fight. Anybody, before I let you go, anybody who you think is done? Oh, at this point, um... Uh, let me do it the other direction. I think Donald Trump is still alive. And in fact, in the testing that we've done of both Trump's ads and his tax plan, he continues to do surprisingly well for some of the things that he has said about candidates. It's really very powerful that, that he still continues to do that well. That's nice. You, you ended on a positive note instead of a mean note. We appreciate it, Frank. Good to see you. Good to see you.